This is just a quick video to demonstrate how to calculate piercing covariance in SPSS. It's not entirely obvious because it's in a different utility than the correlation utility. I'll demonstrate it with the data file relevant to education and earnings per day. So click on Analyze, Scale, Reliability Analysis, and put the education and earnings per day variables in the items box. Click Statistics, and then Covariances. You can see correlations here, and it will produce the Pearson correlation. It doesn't produce the p-value associated with the correlation, however. Neither will it do for the covariance, but we can at least get the covariance through this utility. Click OK. And here is the covariance here in this last table is where you'll get the covariance. You can ignore this reliability statistics table, and the first table is really just about sample size. Here we have the covariance between earnings per day and education was estimated at 71.49. Really, the only thing you can interpret from that is that the association is positive. As education increases in years, the amount that people earn per day also increases. But beyond that, it's not terribly obvious how to interpret a Pearson covariance. I do mention it because sometimes you will see covariance in analyses, particularly more complicated analyses related to structural equation modeling and also reliability analyses, which is actually utility within which Pearson covariance is found in SPSS. The last thing is that on the main diagonal, SPSS reported the variances associated with each variable. So education has a variance of 9.395, and earnings per day has a variance of 4,786. So that's how you calculate covariance in SPSS.